There were a few surprises in Enduro 2 on Sunday. The first was the early retirement of Valtteri Salonen with an injured hand. In finishing sixth, the elder statesman of the championship, Alex Zani, put in his best result to date of the season. It was a different scenario for Alessandro Bellametti, who rode uncharacteristically slowly on the cross test to finish a modest fifth. The most Italian of the French riders, Antoine Mayo, finished fourth, improving his times each time. He continues to move up the order with each passing round of the WEC and could be one of the lads to look out for towards the end of the championship. But the biggest surprise was put in by this boy, who up until now has been nearly invisible on the world enduro scene. Finland's Simo Kersi finished third to step onto the podium for the first time in his short but promising career. A fantastic result for the new BMW factory squad, which has built a bike that is as competitive as it is reliable. What wasn't a surprise was the latest bout of the category's two Goliaths. Juha Salmanen and Johnny Ober finished two minutes ahead of the pack. Championship leader Johnny Ober came second best on Sunday to the unbeatable Salmanen when it comes to the sandy conditions. Here we can see the contrast in styles that separate the two. It was the Frenchman's brute power versus the Finn's total control of the situation. With his speed in the corners, Salonen put in another scratch time. His perfect fluidity added in, and you can see how he puts in 41 seconds on the physically spent Aubert at the end of this battle of the Enduro heavyweights.